Hello, today we're going to look at something that's useful in just about any SharePoint environment, a discussion board. This is a template to allow you to have an interactive discussion board that you can put in any of your SharePoint sites. I'm going to start by demonstrating how this works and show you how you can set this up easily and get this going in your own SharePoint environment. So now let's get SharePoint Smart. Okay, so this is the template. It is simply referred to as the discussion board at SharePoint-boards.com. And this template uh, looks like what you see here. You have the ability to uh, post a discussion and then everybody else can comment by leaving comments in the comment box and then just click submit. Additionally, these discussions can be accordion in and out. You can collapse them, which is handy um, so that you don't have a long scrolling screen. So this gives you the preview and I'm going to give you a glimpse of our finished product in SharePoint. So this is my discussion board. This takes a ordinary SharePoint list and reformats it to produce the functionality that we want for the discussion board. The person who posted the conversation topic has the ability to edit or delete their own post. If you're not the person who posted, you will not see those buttons. So it's pretty simple. I can just leave a comment like this and then hit tab and then hit the submit button. And the most recent comment is going to show on the top of the comments blog. And then as with all the other templates, you can format them and I can expand or collapse out uh, these various uh, conversation topics in my discussion board. So there's our finished product. Let's go through the steps to get this set up. So in the SharePoint dashboard site, you can just use the link below the video and you can see there's some different options for themes. You can configure the font family, the width of the card, font size, background colors, all those types of things. For our demonstration, we're gonna stick with defaults for this. As with any of the templates, you wanna start by reviewing the notes section in the lower left on the template. And this tells you the fields that are needed in order to set up this discussion board. We're going to need to create three additional fields in addition to the default title field, which appears in every SharePoint list. So let's go ahead and do the full setup right now. So I'm going to go to site contents and I'm going to make a new list and I'm going to just uh, refer to this as sales discussion board. and click create. That's gonna drop me into my default SharePoint list view and now I'm ready to start creating columns. So I just need to refer back over to my notes section and it will tell us what we need to create. We've already got the title field so we can start by creating the category field. That will be a choice field. You can use whatever choice options you want and then you will be able to map colors, uh, which will show as a highlighted background in the upper right corner of the card. I'm going to go with the defaults here. So I need to do a new choice field and click next. And this will be called category. And now I'm going to enter my possible options. So we have announcement, discussion, event. So I just click in here. Announcement, discussion, event. Okay, and then also we have question and survey. Okay, 
These are just ways to categorize these different topics. The format and colors shown in the SharePoint Create column window, those will not apply to what we're doing. So you can ignore that for now. Uh, so that's good. I can hit save. There's my first column. Now I need to make three multi-line plain text fields. These will not be using rich text formatting. Those three fields are called description, comment, and comment log. So I'm going to do add column and multi-line text and next. First one is description and uh, do you want to know you will not use enhanced rich text so just stick with the default option for this there's description then we need comment and comment log so multi-line text again comment save then comment log Note that this doesn't have a space in it. It's all together, comment log, and save. And now we need to do comment count, which is a number field. So add column, number, and next, comment count. Again, there's no space in that. Make sure you follow exactly as it's described in the instructions. This is a number field. Um, this doesn't need any decimal places. You can set that to zero for decimal places. And then one more field. This will be a yes, no field called open. So click that add column again. This time pick yes, no. And then next in the fields name is open. And by default, I want that yes. This is referring to whether or not that card is expanded or collapsed. So I will hit save. Now I've got all my fields in there. Before I apply my template, I'm going to go ahead and dummy in one topic just to get things rolling. Welcome to the sales discussion board. I'll do announcement. Welcome our new board. Please check in to let me know you are able to use this. Okay. Looking forward to your feedback. Okay, that's all I need. And now I'm ready to apply the template. So I can go back over to SharePoint dashboards and I'm going to stick with the default settings, but of course you can adjust this to um, whatever look and feel you want. So I'll do copy template, follow the instructions in the pop-up window, come over to the view selector, format current view, advanced mode, and then select all, paste, and save. There we go. There's our new board, and uh, I need to go ahead and do a refresh. And there's a couple of things I need to adjust on my view. So what we need to do is make sure all of our columns are shown in the view. And specifically, we're missing some of those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make that adjustment now. So I will do Format Current View. I'm going to delete that and we will do click add column show or hide columns and there's some things we need to see we need to see uh, created by and when it was created and that should um, help us get what we want the formatting template needs to see those field values so let's try this again paste in your template and save and now you can see the date and the name are in there as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a comment. Okay, notice it highlights when I tab out of it and I need to click submit. Um, and there's the date timestamp. And I can just keep adding options. Notice that the 
comment um, counter will go up as I add options. So that's really handy. So I can just keep on adding to the log. And submit. And then um, it will add in the um, date and the name of the person who put the post in there. And then of course I can collapse down my options as needed and that's all there is to it. Um, so I can do new discussion topics, that type of thing. You do have options to change the highlights for the top part of the card and the bottom. So if you want some different color options or you want to experiment with some different um, settings for the card, feel free to adjust those options and reapply your template. There you go. So that was the discussion board template that's available at SharePointDashboards.com. You can uh, go there and download the template and this will work in your SharePoint online environment. So this is a great way to have an interactive web page which is going to prompt people to add questions, collab collaborate, talk to each other, and post feedback. And this is very easy to set up. You can set multiple discussion boards up at different sites in your SharePoint environment. And now you've got an interactive way to uh, correspond and go back and forth with your team members. I hope you found that useful. And if you have any questions or comments about this template, be sure to post them below the video. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next session. Good luck.